Hello, good morning. So the last video I did was on how I'm trying to basically add more healthy fats and kind of balance my hormones. These last past like two weeks or so, I've been really focusing on adding like healthy fats like coconut oil, avocado into my diet and I feel better. I still haven't gone my period, which is something that I'm trying to heal, but I know that eventually I will get there. So anyways, I am making this video because I'm announcing that I am going keto as of today. Um, and so the reason really why I'm making a video, at first I really wasn't going to tell anyone, but I feel like it'd be more accountability. It'll kind of keep me motivated and keep me accountable. So anyways, I am going to tell you why I decided to do this, who is able to do this, and what is keto anyway. Um, as you saw earlier this morning, I made my bulletproof coffee, which basically just consists of fat. So it's caffeine and fat. But I did add some coconut oil butter. I also added some cinnamon. And I was like, what else did I add? Cinnamon and stevia to make it kind of sweet. You know, I had to um, kind of make it my own. So anyway, so cheers. Kaya, you can't have this keto coffee. No, no, no. Kaya, seriously, stop it. Kaya, <laughs> I love you too. Kaya. <laughs> Kaya. <laughs> So what is keto exactly? So a keto means that basically 80% of your calorie intake, actually I'll take that back, it's actually more like 70 to 80% of your calorie intake is going to be coming from fats, healthy fat. 20 to 30 grams are going to be coming from carbs, so which leaves you the rest to protein and that really depends on how many calories you're taking so you're really not decreasing your calories which is amazing because I like to eat and I snack all the time so peanut butter uh, but then for those that are in a keto diet or a keto lifestyle know that you can't overdo it on peanut butter unfortunately wink, wink, wink. Um, because that also has a lot of carbs. So anyways, I'm gonna have to adjust to that. I have changed because I was getting a little too hot there. So yeah, the difference between a keto diet and a low carb diet is a low carb diet, you could just, you know, lower your intake of carbs during your day. A keto diet, you absolutely do not have any carbs you can't have any sorts of carbs the only type of carbs that you can have basically are from vegetables so you're not really encouraged to have any fruits i know it's sad it's sad you have to remember you can't consume more than 20 to 30 grams a day a day. If you want to do the keto diet, you have to do a lot of research on your own because if you don't do the right amount of research, you're not going to be successful and you're most likely going to be getting the keto flu that a lot of people talk about. So, um, ketosis. What is ketosis? So, ketosis is a state of when your body is a fat machine and is taking your fat and the fat that you consume and turning it into energy. So that is the keto state. And so what happens is um, your body uses all the glucose, but once it runs out of all that glucose, Kaya, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, I almost had a meltdown. Actually, she got a little pow pow on her little booty because she was bad and ate my book. Welcome to the life of having a cute little puppy that destroys about everything. Yeah, I don't know why you're around me because you just got a spanking. You just got a spanking. You so love me. That's unconditional love. I feel this. I love this. I love you. You're the cutest little thing in the planet. I love you. Okay. Um, so going back 
your body basically once it's out of glucose it uses your body produces more um ketos ketones in your body and therefore they um, are released and go through your bloodstream and then are used by your muscles for endurance so basically as i was doing my research i'm like oh my gosh i i'm not going to be able to intake like a good amount of protein like am i able to sustain my muscles sorry about that i'm like what is going on so anyways um a lot of athletes are actually getting introduced to this type of diet and have been really successful and have been performing beyond their levels what can you eat on this diet because seriously i was kind of concerned um you're encouraged to have a lot of butter which i hate 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 um coconut oil um you are encouraged to have a lot of olive oil so healthy fats right avocados cheese um i've been trying to incorporate cheese but you know that i left dairy because of my skin so this will be a good experience um i will see whether i break out um whether it helps um, what kind of proteins like you could eat fish chicken you're really encouraged to eat fatty meats Duh, right um which i'm not really a big fan of um so i'm gonna sticking to a lot of eggs salmon which i love um turkey the dark meat you know no fruits for me um so no bananas i love bananas and peanut butter sorry um but you can have peanut butter and nuts um um, vegetables you can have pretty much any vegetables you just have to make sure that you subtract the fiber from the vegetable and then that'll give you your total net net carbs um, why am I doing this and what are some of the benefits your performance your energy goes up um, a lot of um, athletes have um, said really good things about it it's cured a lot of cancer patients mind memory fatigue who doesn't want to feel that way so like at work I've been told I munch a lot. Um, so that's not a good thing. Kaya? Oh, thank you. Give me. Kaya? Kaya? Drop it. Kaya, drop it. Drop it. Kaya, you're so bad. Kaya, drop it. Thank you. Kaya, no. So I am starting this keto diet and hopefully I'm giving it three months. I told Brandon I was going to give it three months. So I'm marketing in my calendar three months and then I'll give you guys an update of how I feel and what are the benefits that I got from it if I even want to continue doing it. So I'll keep you guys updated and as I go I'll kind of share the journey with you. Um, I would love it if you guys are doing the keto diet, ketogenic diet, for you to link or comment anything down that I missed and that is helpful for any other viewer. I am really excited. Hopefully I can not experience the keto flu and feel all the benefits from it. So anyway, so love you guys. Till next time. Bye.